Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello guys, welcome back to Chemist Balesmi. Today we will see a synthesis experiment and now we will show you our retina to gain our raw materials. So in this experiment we are going to use some copper sulfate which you can find in stores with cell plants and also some sodium carbonate in order to produce some basic copper carbonate. So let's see this experiment. So the procedure which we are going to follow is the current. First, uh, we are going uh, to uh, weigh 19.2 grams of sodium carbonate and 51.2 grams of uh, copper sulfate. We are going to add respectively, respectively 60 milliliters of water and 140 milliliters of water in order to form two solutions. In order to dissolve everything, it is useful to heat up these solutions. After uh, everything is dissolved, you must uh, mix the two solutions and the precipitate that it is going to form must be filtered. If your initial uh, compounds aren't uh, so clean, you can also filter the solutions uh, which, uh, which you uh, prepared at the beginning. So guys, what happens in this experiment is the following reaction. 
As you can see in this action, we use our uh, salts that are uh, copper sulfate and uh, sodium carbonate because they are both soluble in water. And because of this, uh, they, um, they become ions in uh, our solution. After that, these ions exchange to form our uh, product, that is our um, basic copper uh, carbonate. And after that, we just have to, uh, because this uh, product is insoluble in water, we just have to filtrate our solution in order to gain our product. We want you to remember that you can also use um, sodium bicarbonate in um, instead of sodium carbonate and also you have to remember that you should not uh, heat uh, the reaction well, the solution when the reaction is occurring because uh, as we know carbonate are uh, instable uh, when the temperature are high and uh, because of this uh, you should not heat uh, the solution in order not to degrade our product So guys, the experiment is over and we want you to know that you can use this product uh, to make some reaction. For example, in the next video, we'll try to make some nylon from this product. So everyone, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you want to see more basic experiments like this, uh, go with your page and subscribe to it. So for today's all, thanks for watching guys.